The demand for data science is skyrocketing. But do you believe that doing some certification or getting a degree from prestigious institute will help you get a job? Absolutely not. In this competitive world, getting a certification is not enough. What truly matters is your ability to solve real world business problem through your analytical and strong technical skills, which you can develop through hands-on learning. So the step one is hands-on learning skills. So if you want to become a data analyst or a business analyst, then you have to learn Python, SQL, Excel, Tableau or Power BI. But if your target is to become a data scientist or an ML engineer, then you have to learn DSA, mathematics, statistics, machine learning and deep learning. So all those skills you have to learn in a hands-on learning fashion so that it's not just theory, you should have practical knowledge as well. And hands-on means lots of practice, practice and practice. So from day one, you have to practice along with your theory. That's the way to learn this data science or analytics skills in depth. Step two is doing lot of projects. So once you are done with your learning part, both theoretical and practical hands-on learning, then you have to build projects which you can showcase in your resume. So the interviews, the interview is gonna ask a lot of questions from your project. They will dive deep into your project and understand the technical aspect of it and your analytical aspect of all the things you have done to solve a business problem in those projects. Step three is the last but not the least. You have to learn about profile optimization. So learning the technical skill is one part and profile optimization and doing the job hunting part is another thing. So here we have to focus on building our resume profile or LinkedIn profile. Both have similar aspects to it. So I will tell you about resume. So in the resume, you need to make sure that you have a profile pic. Then you have a bio section. So in the bio section, make sure to give your career synopsis in very brief. So give about your experience, your skill sets known to you and what kind of projects you have done here. Then mention all the skills, technical skills in this particular section. Here you can mention your contact details and below this portion is for projects. Whatever the projects you have done, write in detail all the steps involved all the tools used all the skills used and what was the problem statement what was the solution and how effective was the solution is everything is something you have to include in your projects below that come and write the certifications what are the certifications you have done this is something you can put here and some other competition if you have participated that is something you can put up here suppose you have participated in some Kaggle competition and you have got some rank this is something you can put up here to showcase that your profile stands out from other people now your resume is ready and similarly you have to optimize your LinkedIn and once both of these are ready then you can go ahead and apply for jobs once you're shortlisted you can expect a four or five round of interview so starting with the hr round so here the hr will call you and understand your profile in brief then it will be followed by a general aptitude it's an optional thing some companies will take some others won't take after the aptitude is clear then you will start a series of technical rounds so they can be separate down for some topics like sql for one interview one another interview for python some other interview for machine learning or some topics can be combined in one interview and taken as a single interview after after all these are completed, then you go for the managerial round where they assess your managerial skills and there they want to understand how well you are fitting in their organization by asking you some managerial kind of or behavioral kind of questions. Now, all these things is not guaranteed by any stamp given by any degree certificate. So I have seen people who have even done from masters from foreign university, they're coming back to India, they're not able to get proper jobs. So those degrees are not going to help you. It's the skills what matters the most. The amount of hands-on practice, the projects you have done, that matters the most. I have so many known people who have paid three to five lakhs of rupees for these degree programs in the hope of getting a job, but they didn't get any job, and that's the fact. And here at Cloudy ML, we support you at every step of your journey, starting from hands-on learning. Our course is designed in such a way that you watch one video, then you solve some problems related to it. Then you watch the second video and solve some problems related to it. In this way, the entire course flows from theory and practical combined. And at any step you are stuck, you have some doubt, we have our excellent support team available over chat from 6 p.m. to 12 midnight every day. Along with that, we have Zoom call from 8 to 9 p.m. every day. So the support system is available for you every day through our portal. Now, when you're done with all your learnings, then you focus on industrial projects. So these projects are something very unique and real data sets projects, which we have curated for you. And this is something you can very well put in a resume in a detailed manner, and it will help your resume get shortlisted. After projects, we will help you in internship at Cloudy ML, where you will, you will work on real life projects to get proper experience. There on will help you with job hunting part wherein I have explained all the tricks required to build your resume in a nice manner, how to grow your LinkedIn and everything so that your profile stands out in such a big competitive crowd. The extra parts like 
aptitude is something we have covered in our course. The HR round, managerial round questions are also something covered in our course. How to approach them, how to answer them. So now you need to connect the dots. So all the rounds I mentioned in the beginning, four to five rounds of interview, be it HR round, aptitude round, the technical rounds, and the managerial rounds is something we have in structured manner covered in our course. After doing it properly, you are sure to clear all of them. And not only that, we help you with placements. We take a mock interview, make you ready for the real life interviews. We send you resume to our tie up companies, also through our huge referral network across the country. And we help align interviews for you. And eventually you crack one of them and you start your data science or analytics job. I have seen people from sales making a transition. The people with 10 years of experience who have no coding background has learned from our course and got a job as a data analyst. So what are you waiting for? Already more than 6,000 learners have made their career transitions. We could be the next. Click on the link below and visit our website now. Become job ready at the most affordable price. Thank you.